Are you looking to coast into some profits and curious about cutting acrylic with your diode laser? Well, if you are, you've come to the right place. What am I talking about? Well, stick with me because we're going to jump into this together. Let's go. Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to share this with you. What is it? Well, it's a state coaster. Now, you guys might recall a few episodes back, and I also have it linked down below a card, one or the other, about a light burn tips video which I created to share with you how to create a coaster or Christmas ornament from a state shape. And here you go. So, in the video, I used Michigan and I used that same file to actually cut this out a three millimeter acrylic using the Orter Laser Master 2 and a G2 lens. Now this is a little bit of change up from my normal G8 lens and I'm going to do a video in the near future on the differences between the G2, G8 and G7 and G9 and all the G lenses there are. But one of the things if you're going to cut thinner material like this about three millimeters I would say is going to be around tops uh, you really want to use a G2 lens because with the um, shorter focal length you get a better utilization of power to cut this out and I tell you what guys this came out great so there's a lot of detail and this is really what I wanted to show you guys is just the tight detail that this was able to cut out without hardly any remelt at all and because one of the big problems that you run into when you cut acrylic with a laser is if you don't get the curve cleared out really well and I did use air assist on this full disclosure you get remelt so instead of actually vaporizing the acrylic it simply melts it and then it rehardens and crystallizes and you have problems I only had very little bit remelting and this was actually on the side I don't know if you can see it here in some spots it really wasn't bad at all and I could really tune that out I think pretty easily because the recipe I used on this was actually five millimeters a second and 12 passes to cut this whole thing out now on the outside I think I would have changed it up a little bit different and the reason for the outside is the longer run of surface area versus all the intricate moves because even though on the inside I was moving still at five millimeters a second you can see there's a lot of kind of like jagged areas so the change in direction and everything else actually probably slowed it up a little bit so my suggestion on the outer circle would be to actually slow it up and probably go 10 millimeters a second and go more passes to avoid the remelt but again that was still in itself real minor uh, popped out of here pretty cleanly and uh, did a very very nice job so again the Artura laser is really exciting me with what can be achieved with it and, and here you go because again in the upper peninsula there's a ton of detail there's there's I don't know if you can see it now zoom in two pieces here that are just super tiny and it actually cut those pieces out and I was able to just easily pop this away or separate it from the whole unit. So as you can see here, this is a very cool money maker, whether it be for coasters or it be Christmas ornaments, you know, by as I showed in the video, putting a little hoop up here. You can do all kinds of stuff with this. So tons of money making opportunities with this and it really looks nice. Now, the one thing is I covered in the light burn tips video. I probably would create the Mackinac bridge across here just to bring these two together. It is pretty stable uh, in itself and it kind of does look cool with the two pieces I think as you can see here. Uh, but it would be a little bit more stable if the lower and upper peninsula were connected as one. Especially as a coaster because you can see there's a little ratcheting. But uh, you know all in all this came out super cool. And again, you know, it needs to be a darker color. You cannot do white. So it's going to have to be like a black or brown or deep orange or something like that. And, and black really probably is the best with a visible light laser. Anyways, hopefully I've inspired you to go off, create some state coasters, ornaments, whatever. Uh, again, I'll be doing more of this in the future. And if you have suggestions or would like to see something along these lines, or a light burn tips video, hit me up in the comments below. Really love helping you guys out. With that being said, if you could help me out with a big thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. Swag shops up there, subscribe over there, and we'll catch you in the next video where we do something else cool. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.